I guess I could. You're gonna make a, a GIF? Really cool stone wall running right along the trail for, I don't know, 50, 75 feet. Now this is that Southern hospitality I've been hearing about. The last two weeks I've been in a southbound hiker bubble of like a dozen to 15 people and a lot of them were just in this Damascus and, and that's a new experience for me. So this feels like a new terrain, kind of a cool pasture to walk through for now. I do like the short grass. Usually something like this is overgrown and I'm getting whacked in the shins, but not today. So this is a monument up on a mountain in Tennessee. Uncle Nick Grinstaff, born December 26, 1851, died July 22, 1923. Lived alone, suffered alone, and died alone. The last part's kind of sad, but it's kind of strong too. No one knows his story but him, but I guess it's a monument to a local hermit, and I'm assuming he lived up here on the trail, so pretty cool monument. Kind of assume it looks like this is where he was buried. So maybe this is where he was found. People knew him, his, his nieces or nephews knew him. And at any rate, I think it's really cool. And for somebody who is technically homeless, just ap uh, hiking the Appalachian Trail, but if you ask me my address right now, I don't have one to give you. It's a big Agnes Fly Creek tent. I plan on setting it up at Iron Mountain Shelter tonight. When you're going through your bag looking for one thing and you forget that you packed out a beer while you're eating dinner. I am in Tennessee near Elizabethtown. This is a beautiful lake that I've been hiking on these ridges next to all day. I'm really tired. Watuga Dam, length 900 feet, height 318 feet. Went somewhere in between 26 and a half and 27 miles yesterday in my brand new trail runners. Solomon Cross Sport, Sport Cross, Speed Cross, Speed Cross 5. They're great. They're lighter than the 3D100, but these Cross Speed, Speed Cross 5s, they feel like they have the same sole and heel, but I know that they're lighter and probably not as meaty as the 3D100. But the top of them feels more like the lighter trail runner and they feel lighter altogether. And so it's like having the best of both worlds.
is top mountain elevation, 5,587 feet. It's beautiful. I climbed up about 3,000 feet elevation. Now it's at 2,800, so just shy of 3,000 feet up to this beautiful spot. See. You can see it for miles and miles, towns and towns. I was thinking that one was close with her, but that's where I'm heading. I gotta reach under here and grab my pack and drag it underneath this blowdown. Can't go over it. I can barely go under it. And I thought I was having fun, but clearly this bunny is having the most fun on the Appalachian Trail. It's Friday, I believe it's September 30th, and this is the calm before the storm. It's supposed to start raining in this area around one o'clock this afternoon. Hurricane Ian is heading this way. So they had said 100% chance of rain Saturday. And I thought that was the hurricane. Oh, is that a deer? That's a deer. <laughs> I hope you saw him jump. So I'm heading towards Sands Gap. Once I get up there, I think that's big bald. I'll check the weather one last time. The weather report on Google just kind of switched it to Friday. 100% chance of rain. And Saturday still is a high percentage, 80%. So it seems like Friday and Saturday are the hurricane days. So that's what's going on on the trail. I think that's big bald. It certainly looks big. It certainly looks bald. Check the weather, and is there some sort of miracle and it's not going to rain in this area. I'm going to go to the hostel and play it smart. I think you're moving too fast. 